Here's problem 27.1. A rod of 2 meters in length and a, and a square 2 millimeter by 2 millimeter cross section is made of a material with a resistivity of 6 times 10 to the minus 8 ohm meters. If a potential difference of 0.5 volts is placed across the ends of the rod, at what rate is heat generated in the rod? Okay, first thing is, what do they mean by rate of heat generated in the rod? If you ever have a rate of something, you're thinking about something per time. And in this case, it would be heat per time. Heat is energy, so we are looking at trying to find what is the energy per time generated in the rod. Well, power is energy per time. So we want to know what is the power in the rod. Okay, so that's where we're going. Now we have a rod, looks something like this. It's two millimeters by two millimeters in cross-sectional area, and the length itself is two meters. All right, and we're going to connect to this a voltage, so it could be like a battery over here, and the battery has a voltage of 0.5 volts. All right. If we could figure out the resistance of this rod, then we could calculate the power generated because we know from our power equations for resistance, power is equal to I squared R or power is equal to V squared over R. And since we know the voltage in this case, we're probably going to be using the second form of equation where the voltage and the resistance are related. So let's calculate the resistance of this rod. Now we know the resistance is equal to the resistivity times the length over the cross-sectional area. In this case, that would be a resistivity of 6 times 10 to the minus 8. Length is 2 meters. And the cross-sectional area is 2 millimeters by 2 millimeters. So that is going to be 2 times 10 to the minus 3 meters squared for the cross-sectional area. So this is 6 times 2 10 to the minus 8 over 4 times 10 to the minus 6. So that is going to be equal to 3 times 10 to the minus 2 or 0 0.03 ohms. That is the resistance of the rod. We know we have 0.5 volts across it, so the power is going to be equal to V squared over R, and that is going to be 0.5 volts squared over 0 0.03 ohms, and that gives me what? 8.33 watts or 8.33 joules per second, which is a watt. So that is our answer. That is the power generated in this rod, and hence that would be the rate of heat generated in the rod.